right now, Fowl. I think you should be called the Parfessor because all this do young man does is rack up par. Parfessor. I love that actually. Dude, oh, oh, he's the Parfessor. He's the Parfessor. Let's go. And if you're looking for collaborations, try and reach out. Rest assured, we reached out to anyone and everyone that was interested in trying to play a little bit of golf. Now we're going to rely on the comment section down below for the folks like you so that we can come back and do an update video of the top golf courses in Springfield, Missouri. That's right. So starting off at number four on this list, Horton Smith Golf Course. It is a 4.2 out of 5 out of 60 golf reviews to choose from. It's located in Springfield, just outside of it. It's considered to be one of the nicer courses. It's named after the historical golf professional and has first and third master champions that he's best known for winning. He's an old golfer, one of the first to win major championships. This course is a par 70 at 6,318 yards with a slope of 113. It was built in 1962 as a driving range and major amenities to kind of get your golf range nice, loose, and ready to get you started. It's important to note that this is an independent golf channel. All we're trying to do is get better along the way. So we need your comments down below as we continue to bring you those top golf courses. So swinging in to number three, Millwood Golf Course Club. This course has 18 holes. It's, though it's a private course, it does offer amenities for public play. It stretches 6,726 yards from the back tees with a slope of 134 and a rating of 71.4 course was built in 1995 so thumbs up to the architect greg martin that designed the course at the time i think it's open year-round has a driving range and major other amenities to fill out your golf experience as you cut through springfield missouri i've never been there so that's why i'm relying on the comment section down below we want this to turn into like a reddit type feel so let's cut the list now in half and swing on over to River Cut Golf Course. And this is one of the nicer courses with a 4.4 out of 5 and almost 200 golf reviews to choose from on Google. The course has a lot of amenities outside of this championship course, but the championship course stretches 7,066 yards with a slope of 129 and a rating of 79.9. It was built in 1998 by Kent Dye, as open year-round. And again, this is a public course. It's more of a municipal course, but it's public. And you can see right off the bat, it's maybe not the best course on this list, but sometimes it's hard to find great public golf. And we need the comments down below where those hidden gems are. Where's those privately owned courses that Troom Golf doesn't push out marketing? Is it the number one course like we're going to swing into now? It sounds like it could be a historical fun one. It's named after two people, so that's interesting. So let's swing on in to Bill and Payne Stewart Golf Course. This is a 4.3 out of 5 in regards to golf reviews on line with 230 to choose from the course stretches only 6162 yards and is a par 70. this municipal course built in 1947 by perry maxwell and press maxwell it's a stretching 6162 yards with a slope of 113 and a rating of 68.4. This par 70 has a lot of amenities like a driving range. We can see right off the bat, this looks like a nice golf course. And we're excited to end the list with a championship course like this. But more importantly, we need more subscribers. We do golf reviews. We do everything golf related. This is an independent hobby-based golf channel. Trying to bring you those public golf courses right across the door near you. And more importantly, we need the comments down below. So if you're reading this, write down which ones are your favorite. This is the Parfessor.